Hey beauties, I'm back with another video and this video is going to be about um, luxury goods that I purchased and why and why you should if you thinking about it, you watching this video, um, why I think you should invest in it because it's a very good investment. So we're going to do five luxury items that I don't regret and I think that I will always have it forever. It will always be a trend. I would, it would never go out of trend, meaning, and it's just worth splurging on. So the first thing is gonna start with my um, Louis Vuitton Nice. Um, this is a mini, and um, I love this bag. I know I told y'all in my last video, which I did with uh, this, uh, my favorites. I talked about it. I said, I love this bag. It doesn't come with, it doesn't come with this. It doesn't come with this strap. I added this strap on. This bag is actually a toiletry bag. Um, you could take it along if you're going on trips, vacation, whatever, whatever. But this is a trend. A lot of women, you see them on Instagram or just in general wearing it as a bag. I wear it as a bag and um, I don't travel much but if I was traveling I probably would pack this in my suitcase or my traveler or whatever um, as well because I feel like um, it's worth every it's worth you, you could wear it in multiple ways you could wear it as a bag and, and as a toiletry you know like carry all your everything in it like your makeup skincare uh everything this thing is small but it, it it's it's wide it could, fit, it could fit a lot of stuff in it so i think it's worth the money it's a thousand dollars i think eleven hundred dollars but it's worth it like i said i use this as a bag if i'm going out i'll take the chain off and just wear it like this without the chain I love this bag. It's worth every penny. If you were thinking about investing in this bag, I would say do it because, like Happy Stylish Mommy said, she wear it as a bag and now she uses it as a toiletry. She uses it as both. And it's really, really, a, one of the reasons why I bought this bag actually, well, I got this bag for Christmas, my birthday from um, my boo. Because I wanted this bag for a long time after watching her video. Um, this bag is like, like I said, it's not like I would never stop wearing this bag. Even though it's not a bag, it's supposed to be like a toiletry bag. A toiletry, but you can use it multiple ways. And this would never get out of, you know, like you never get out of trend. So, yeah, guys, this. Another thing that I, like I said, another thing I would never stop wearing and will always be in trend is my um, Louis Vuitton um, pochette. Is it called pochette? Is it pochette? Pochette. Pochette. Pouch, pochette, whatever. If I don't remember the name, please like remind me or I'll definitely link it below. They don't sell this particular style anymore i believe they have the mini and a medium i don't think they have this big one anymore but i use this as a clutch i will always use this as a clutch this bag is, this clutch is so old this louis vuitton clutch is like probably 10 years old i would never stop wearing this i don't care how many bags i have i don't care what it's something that will go with everything right now i'm wearing my louis vuitton i'm sorry Right now I'm wearing my Louis Vuitton, I'm sorry. Right now I'm wearing my Gucci sweater, cardigan, whatever, sweater. It's like a crop top. And um, I had it on earlier, I just changed and put on my sweats because I know we're gonna do a video. But I want to keep my sweater on. And like I said, you can wear this, this clutch with everything. Even with Gucci, like, it just goes with everything. And like I said, it don't matter if you have the small one, it don't matter if you have the medium one. This is something you can always use as a toiletry, put your stuff in it to travel, or you can use it as a clutch. And most people use it as a clutch. 
because it's just like ideal. I even put my um my um iPad in this bag, in this clutch, because it fits everything. And like I said, I use this I'm traveling, I'm going on a date, when I used to go on dates. Um I just love it. And this is something like I said, I would never stop wearing. It does it's just something that is just it still will always be in trends, no matter what. So definitely like if you still if you see it in like I say consignment, I would say splurge on it. Treat yourself. I know it went up a lot because I know someone hit me up one time asking me like what's the price for these now? And I know that they went up a lot. But when I got this, I think I paid like less than six hundred dollars for this when I bought it. That's how long ago this was. And now it's like probably like a thousand dollars or more. Um, you could get a good one from a consignment store for probably five hundred. The, that's a good one. Um, but most of the time, you can't really find these because nobody sells them because it's a staple piece in the closet. You know. Okay. Another thing that I love and I would never stop wearing, and it's so like ideal. And you can wear it multiple ways. Is my your belt um i said belt bag but it goes around the waist you could take off the the the, the strap and use it as a clutch or you can also um, add like a little buckle like the buckle that i have like the strap that i bought for this i can also get a thinner strap and wear it as a crossbody I love it. It is worth every penny. So I think it was eleven, eleven ninety five. But you know, Dior go go up a lot, like everything else. Dior, Chanel, and Louis Vuitton goes up in price like every three months. So if you see this and you want it, get it because it's worth it. You can put a lot of stuff in it. I probably wear this like maybe three or four times, but I always keep it stuffed. And put it back in my box um, because I don't want to mess it up. Yeah, but it's like I said, it is worth the splurge. If you're thinking about getting it, I say go ahead because you can use it in multiple ways. If you have kids and you don't want to, you going out with your kids and you don't want to like carry anything, you know, so you know, because you have a baby or you have kids, you can just put this on your waist and put your wallet or your you know, your cards, whatever you want to put, your phone, um, a lip gloss, a lip balm, and your mask, and keep it moving. It's so ideal, and I definitely, definitely, um, if, you, if you're interested, if you if you decided on, if you're like contemplating on getting this bag, well, this belt bag, I would say it's definitely something you should do because you can wear it in like four ways. It's worth it. Okay, we have one more after this. The last thing that I said that I love, no, it's not last. We have another bag. Sorry. Alright, took it out the bag. Drop this stuff. Sorry guys. Okay. The next thing that I have, guys, is this bag from East and Iran, YSL. Yeah, no. Same thing. This bag in black on black. This is the Toy Lulu. Louis, Louis, maybe I'm saying it backwards. Y'all know what I mean. Um, Louis Vuitton. I'm sorry. Saint Laurent Toy Lulu. Something like that. I don't remember. But I also did a review on this. It's the best little crossbody bag you can have in your closet um, or your bag collection. I like it in black on black because I have a lot of um, YSL, like the wallet, I have the, the little mini card holder and I have it in gold and silver hardware. So I didn't have it in black on black. So I wanted just a simple black um, solid, um, YSL, um, you know, simple bag, 
and it's so cute perfect perfect little size for me I feel like it's a, it's a nice it's not too small but it's not too big and it's something that you could carry even if you have a baby even if you have like kids little kids that you just don't want to carry big bags because you have kids to hold their hands or whatever it's something you just it's just perfect and I definitely think if you want to splurge um, on this bag you should it's a thousand dollars now like I said these bags they go up in, in prices like so much so I don't like to give a price because I may go on the website and it's more but I believe it's like a thousand or twelve hundred no more than that between between a thousand to twelve hundred dollars for this bag but it's worth it it's a toy yeah this is a toy Lulu yeah but it's worth it I love it it is worth every penny it's a good investment if you have the money and you want a nice simple black bag designer but not too you know all in your face get it it is worth it I love it it's very subtle like as far as like some people don't want to be like all oh, designer like oh I'm here like I don't do Gucci bags because I just think the Gucci logo is just too big it's just not for me just saying but um, as far as like designer bags, I always do um, Louis, I always do Yves Saint Laurent, YSL, and I'll do like Chanel, of course, and um, Goyard, and Bottega, um, stuff like that that you know it's not going to look like uh, I'm here, or Celine. These are bags that I like that are very, very subtle if you're not into like oh attention you know what i'm saying i'm like attention all the time on my bags so okay this is something that i definitely would say if you want to splurge invest in it because it's worth it last but not least is this perfume oh my god i just got it too so you know it's my new baby it's called kirk if i'm saying it wrong kirk kirk Kirk, Kirk, Kirk. And this perfume, let's look at it very, very nice. It's called Kirk. It's $550. $550. Do not thumb down that video because you're haters. I like it because it smells beyond, beyond. Like, even me just like holding the bottle right now i can smell it this perfume will last you not even one day like days like you spray it on your clothes and days later you still smell it on you this perfume is worth every 550 dollars i've been watching this perfume for years i would say about a year when i was in Saks and my new store that I'm in and this young lady comes to my job she works there she always had this one and I'm like oh my god remind me of sax remind me of sax and I asked her because I didn't remember the name what are you wearing and she told me and when we went to, when I went to to buy it it was sold out it was sold out in stores so I ordered it and I found it a little cheaper on Neiman Marcus. It was four eighty or four thirty on e it was on sale. It was some something going on in Neiman Marcus where where it was cheaper. But if you go to Bloomingdale's, if you go to Birdoff, you're going to pay five hundred and fifty dollars for this perfume. It's called Kirke. Kirke, I don't know how to say it. Um, but I know smells beyond good and it's worth every penny and um my boyfriend told me I'm stupid for buying this but like I said I like it but um yeah if you want something that stays on and just smell like you are rich rich like you own the building not the room the building. Kirky or Kirky. I don't know how to say it. But I will link it below. 
if you are interested I will link everything below but this is an amazing amazing perfume I love it I think it's worth it I know some people may say I could buy 20 perfumes with this but you're not gonna smell like this I'm telling you I love perfumes I buy perfume from Sephora but when it comes to like perfumes that you want to smell like no other you want to invest in something like this this is something that it's a good money like it's worth the splurge so that's it guys for my um luxury splurge items thank you for watching follow me on instagram lush and beauty um so subscribe comment below thanks again bye guys